Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are back with another wig install. Today's wig is from Colleen Hair. This is their 13 by four lace front wig. Now this particular wig has 4C edges and the texture is kinky curly. And I also have this wig in 24 inches. We will be focusing a lot on those edges. I know you guys love some kinky curly wig installs with the 4C edges because it takes little to no work to make it believable and make it look natural. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, just continue to watch. All right, so here is a close-up of that kinky curly texture. I will be giving you guys a close-up of those edges as well. So compared to like the little white paper that comes to protect the lace, that is what that hairline is looking like. But I'm also going to show you guys what the lace is looking like compared to my skin tone as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on into this wig install. So of course I did bleach the knots off camera, wash the wig and everything off camera as well. Here is a close up of the inside of that wig. Now it does have the adjustable strap for a full on glueless wig install, as well as the combs and the little baby adjustable straps all the way at the bottom of the wig. Now as far as that hairline, that hairline is super thick, but I did just wanna give you guys a close up to show you that it's supposed to mimic the kinky curly type of edges that a lot of us seem to have especially as african-american women so the first thing that you want to do is just throw the wig on make sure that it's fitting your head right away one thing that i did not show on camera that i wish i showed you guys is the fact that you need to brush or comb those edges back as i mentioned earlier those edges are pretty thick on this particular wig so brush it back or comb it back to your liking you can also use some mousse if you would like but it'll make it a lot easier to see the lace when it's time to secure it but first I'm going to cut all this additional lace off the wig because it is no longer needed. Okay, so now I'm just going to give you guys a comparison. Now my natural edges is not as thick as the edges on this wig. I have low density hair, but I did just wanna show you guys that the edges on the wig literally blend right into my edges as well. Like it doesn't really look like I have a wig on when I do the comparison. So I just wanted to give you guys a close up of that. But now it's time to secure the lace down. So I will be using my even adhesive spray. You guys know the deal with this. I normally go in with about like two to three rounds. Once it's tacky, that's when I lay the lace down and then I use the elastic band to really melt the lace.
all right so the lace is secure now so I'm giving you guys another close-up because I did brush the edges back remember I told you guys to try to do that in the beginning <laughs> I forgot to do it on camera so I apologize for that but that is the close-up so right now I'm just adding some makeup on the lace wherever I see the lace especially in front of all these bright lights I know I need to add some makeup on it because you don't want it to look like you're actually wearing a wig then I will be going in with the classic middle part and you guys know me I need to make sure the top of the wig is laying as flat as possible this hair is pretty full the curl pattern is pretty thick so I really just wanted to make sure that it didn't look too bulky at the top because then it's really giving like you're wearing a wig on your head you know Alright, so I officially finished with both sides and as you guys can see, you can see the scalp, of, well not my scalp, it's the lace. <laughs> But you can see the part a whole lot better it's not too bulky or too full at the top which is exactly what I wanted so right now I'm just going in with some makeup and I'm adding it onto that middle part when you guys see me use the mascara wand that's really just because I got some makeup on the hair and it wasn't coming off so I really just like to go in with a mascara wand just to really define that part and then we're going to define the curls which honestly was not bad at all Although this hair is like a kinky curly texture, I really found it to be easy to manage. I finger detangled the entire time. I did not go in with a brush or a wide tooth comb or anything like that because when it comes to kinky curly textures, it's just best to keep it simple. So I finger detangled once I saturated the hair with some water and then I went in with some mousse just to really make those curls pop again. Okay, you guys, and we are officially finished. Once again, when it comes to kinky curly wigs with the 4C edges, I personally feel like the install portion is pretty simple. This particular wig, I felt like the edges were pretty thick, but it did match the texture of the rest of the hair because the rest of the hair honestly has like these big juicy curls as well, but it's also given it kinky curly also. It's, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> but I do feel like the quality of the hair was great, especially for a curly, kinky curly type of wig. I didn't have excess shedding. I didn't have excess tangling or anything like that um, and like I said when it comes to curly wigs in general I normally do prefer that you finger detangle and you be as gentle with the hair as if it was your natural hair just because it's a wig does not mean that you can just do anything to it and not really take care of it so if you would like to check out Colleen hair I will have all the information listed in the description box down below as far as the direct link and everything that I used in this video thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time